A UK company called Torking Group raised $3.4 million on Kickstarter to make tiny camera drones, a record for the most funded European Kickstarter project ever. But now the company is folding. What the heck happened? Sarus Faravar is here to, from Ars Technica to tell us what the heck happened to this company. Welcome, Sarus. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on. Now, how can a company with $3.4 million fail to survive for even a year? That is a really good question. Uh, so, yes, uh, Torkin Group is a company based out of Western Wales uh, in the UK. Um, earlier this year in January, they raised, as you say, $3.4 million in Kickstarter, the most funded uh, Kickstarter project in Europe ever. Um, I went out to visit them in Wales in the spring, and uh, a lot of people, or a handful of people online, um, had been wondering uh, what was up with this company. They had released, as you're showing here in this video, uh, this promo, um, but you'll note that the footage uh, in this promo doesn't actually show any video from the drone itself. So when they released this promo video, a lot of people are now saying, oh, you know, this is uh, uh, just showing some, some mock-ups and prototypes. It's a well-produced video, but, you know, it doesn't actually show how good the drone itself really is. Um, so a lot of people were sort of wondering, like, is this really a real thing? And, and, and what's going on here? When I went and visited them in Wales, uh, it they didn't seem like a scam as such. I mean, they were real employees. They had a real office. They were really making the thing. Um, but a big red flag for me when I was there was the fact that not only would they not let me fly any of them, but they wouldn't even fly it for me. Uh, and I wow. was there, you know, like a month or two months before they were supposed to be sending them out to customers. And I didn't get a demo, but I did hold one in my hand. You know, it, it looked good. It felt good, but I, I didn't get to see it fly. Did you see any footage from it? Like, was there any evidence that this thing worked? No, I, I mean, I really think that uh, I didn't see any footage from it. No, I mean, right before I arrived, they showed a, uh, they released a video, um, which is actually rather neat, of the of people playing what they dubbed drone or Xano tennis. Uh, so they had people basically having the having the drone and using its kind of obstacle detection capability they would essentially bat it back between each other so it didn't actually touch people's hands but if you can imagine you know using your hand like a like a tennis racket uh, standing across a room you could kind of move your hand toward the drone and then it would push it to the other person and then they would bat it back to you so that that was a demo that was rather neat I saw the room where they filmed it um, you know a lot of people said if you look at that video that the the echo is really loud I was in that room the echo is really loud uh, you know but as I reported the story especially after I came back and started talking to more drone industry analysts it just seemed like the company was just way in over their head. You know, they had promised something that they just really couldn't deliver on. And they and and you know, as they dragged on, uh, drones like lots of things in the industry get cheaper and more sophisticated. Uh, and they were up against bigger companies like DJI uh, and others. What happens to Kickstarter funded companies when they fold and fail like do, do the do the backers crowdfunding backers get any money back like what happens right so uh torquing group has sent out about 600 drones of the 15,000 that were ordered so very few of them actually went out um a lot of people have said that they've asked the company for refunds even before the company folded uh and said that they have not refer not received them yet um, Kickstarter has said that, uh, you know, basically, if you look at their terms of service, they sort of are, are hands off uh, in, in this matter. They basically say, you know, the uh, projects should and the project creators should make every effort to fulfill uh, the project. And if they don't, they should make every effort to refund the money uh, or they may face uh, legal action. Uh, I'm not aware of any legal action that has been filed in the UK or the US or anywhere else, um, but that may come soon. And so what of those 600 drones that have actually been delivered? Do you know anything about them? Do we know who has them, whether they work, what they're like? Yeah, um, so I spoke with uh, one of the guys in, he lives in Cornwall in the UK, and he, uh, you know, gave me a little brief uh, interview about his experience of flying his drone, both in his kitchen and also outside. He said it worked okay. Um, I've seen other reports uh, of people saying that, uh, you know, it didn't work nearly as well as expected. Um, after I went and visited Torkin Group, uh, the BBC uh, turned up not long after, and in their experience, where they um, did get a did see a demo of the thing flying, they reported that it did not uh, fly very well. It couldn't get a GPS lock, uh, and it it performed very poorly.
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, this is why you have to uh, proceed with caution whenever you have a Kickstarter project that you might like, even a well-funded one like this. It seemed like a uh, uh, an easy uh, win for them. I mean, millions of dollars to develop a drone, something that lots of companies have done successfully. Uh, but you know what? That's what Kickstarter is all about.